makes sense what the suffering was for Cause I got out my head and I got in my bag No time to be crying, there's money to make I'll do what I got or whatever it takes Cause I'm pushing myself to be one of the great And my time is right now, I cannot wait What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Extreme Lifestyle Living Podcast. Today's episode is going to be very short and sweet and that's just because I actually had a whole plan of what I wanted to talk about today. I had a whole script of ideas I want to talk about. I want to talk about values or self-worth and I want to talk about bringing value to your life and I want to talk about boundaries and how boundaries are how you create your self-worth. But I really just had the absolute best weekend of my life. And what I mean by that is, there's no, all, this, all of the successes are straight up just hanging with my family. And for any of you guys that have been following for a long time, you guys know the family part of my life has never been an easy part of my life. It's never been the best, right? And it, there's a lot of like parts of my life that I share that help with the help of the people, and just like the lead by example because I understand how hardships can really mold our lives, right? And the biggest thing was I really like, reflected over the last 48 hours of embracing. Hang with my family, you know, to put it in perspective, I haven't seen my family in probably six to eight months. I've seen my mom once in the last six to eight months. I've seen my youngest brother once in the last six to eight months. He has a baby niece that's turning uh, two, My and I've seen my other brother twice, but he actually brought his baby niece to me. So if it wasn't for his effort more than my effort, then I wouldn't have only seen them once. And I put I say this to put it in perspective because I'm one of those people that, you know, I'm a little bit of a victim when it comes to the way I grew up and the stories I've sold myself and the ways I convinced myself that, you know, like life would have been another way. And there's it's funny because saying it that way makes me feel like a little bit of a lie in certain certain aspects of my life, how I live. But that's also why I lead, try to lead by example in so many avenues, because it's hard. It's hard to embrace these avenues of your life. And this episode, honestly, I just wanted to be short and quick and sweet to just bring light about being grateful for who you have around you and where they're at. And what I mean by that is it doesn't matter like kind of the background and everything within reason. Like obviously it has to be some sort of mutual respect back and forth. And it did take a long time for me and my family to get on the same page with a lot of things just because, you know, we all don't see eye to eye. And especially me being me realizing this weekend, to be honest, which is why I'm sharing this, is I'm with the most stubborn one. You know, I realized how if I got over my emotions, I'm the oldest brother out of them all. You know, I, I didn't, I'm not saying I don't realize how much they look up to me and things, but, you know, like I, if when I, to be honest, if I put my shit aside, my emotions, my traumas, and how I feel about how I grew up, because, you know, I feel a victim in terms of not having their, their love and support as much as I wanted to growing up based on certain things. When I put all that aside this weekend, it really got them to live their lives amongst me. And with me amongst their life without any of my emotional baggage, if you will. And uh, just a blunt way to just to, to, to slice the cake and put it out there. Um, it was really, truly blessing. It was a blessing. Because I'm always over here, like, uh, to be honest, I work a lot. And I never say that in terms of a way to sit there and be like, go, oh, I'm better than anybody else. You know, you don't work harder than me. But I've, I'm fortunate enough to find a lot of fulfillment in my work. And unfortunately, I don't find a lot of fulfillment in a lot of other avenues of my life. So that's why this weekend was so important for me to, like, pump the brakes and take a turn and a pivot from my podcast and just be grateful for where I'm at. Even me sitting here doing my podcast right now. And I remember, like, the buildup and the animosity and the lead up of me trying to do my first podcast and getting it all situated and, you know, get, trying to figure and learn everything out, the editing, the, like, you know, what am I going to talk about and all these different things. It's so hard, when you, especially when you're insecure in so many different ways and you're truly doing it by yourself. Like, nobody's helping me with this, right? And I'm not saying that, again, like, in, in a bad way. I'm just saying, like, it's hard. But for me to be able to pop up my mic, my computer, and bring this podcast so live just straight off the top of my head and just speak from pure love and gratitude is, is you know, like, that's something I got to be proud of. And the reason why I'm saying that is because I'm looking back 2023 and less than three years ago, I was at my lowest and now I'm at my absolute best. And now that I'm at my absolute best, speaking on fulfillment, it's like, what's the point? What's the point of having the wealth? What's the point of having the good relationships? What's the point of all the personal goals and the health? If you don't have the family, you don't have the ones that are truly here for you regardless of what happens even if you guys don't agree all the time and that's the biggest thing that you know that if anyone's out there dealing with some trauma in their families and stuff it's when it comes to families and love it all comes down to malicious intent right like what's the intent like if they're not hurting you on purpose because of you know like there's uneducated and i mean it in a love loving way you know we were a very uneducated family we didn't have very much like table manners we didn't have very many 
you know, a lot of things in life. We didn't, like, that's just one small example just to say it. But we didn't have very many, like, you know, like, guidance in things, right? So it's, like, it depends on how you look at it. But the reason why I'm saying this is because me just being around their energy for the last two days has really opened my eyes to, like, you ever hear the story of, like, they say, how how often do you visit your family, right? And they're saying, actually, we were talking about this the other day. One of our, uh, fuck it, one of our family members has their 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 son every other weekend so twice twice a month you know so if you think there's 52 weeks in the year 26 bi-weeklies so for 26 times a year this our cousin gets to see his son and when you put that in perspective 26 times so you get 26 times so you know it's like 26 or so 52 days out of 365 days you have you get to see your son and it's like that's not the type of family you want right and that's just not the type of love you want so it's like that quality of time is what you have to make sure it's there and the reason why I'm using that as an example is because I told you I haven't seen my family in eight months. You know, like mom's getting old, my grandparents are getting old, like my navy's turning to my niece. And I'm saying all this because it's like you can stay on one side of your life and convince yourself that you're one way or you're hurt. Or for my my sake, I'll use myself as an example, staying over here and I'm going to fulfill myself with the work and fulfill myself in smaller other avenues of, you, of my life to avoid the elephant in the room just because I can't embrace how I feel. And just putting all my shit aside and just being able to embrace where they're at, embrace where my family's at, the love that they have for me and how much they they look up to me and love me and support me in ways that maybe I don't necessarily understand. It really is a type of success that you can't really put a price on, right? And just the reason why I'm bringing that to light is because, like I said, highlighting my success the last three to five years, like 2023 and three years ago, I was at my lowest. And I mean that, like, you know, COVID started and it was rough. You know, it was fucking real rough. So to be sitting here now and just looking back on, like, you know, the podcast, the podcast has been over like two, three years now. And even just me being a full online coach, having a full client roster of people that I fucking love every day, getting better by the day, f- figuring out every day how to serve them better, figuring every day how to be more supportive for them, figuring out every day how to be supportive and more efficient for me within that business, figuring out how I can bring more people on the team, you know, change more lives, lead by example, make my processes concrete and tight just because I want to make sure that every single person can, can feel how I feel, you know, um, to be honest. And that's just what it is. And I know for me, the reason why I'm highlighting this so much about like family and stuff, right, is like, you know, like you, you hear those people that, uh, I don't mean those people, but you hear those amongst people that have lost people in their lives, you know, like Emma's grandparents are both gone and like I've never unfortunately got to meet them, but like I see how much they love, how much their family loves them, how much with how they speak about them so often and you can see in their eyes. You can think of other people that lost their moms or dads and other siblings, and it's like you almost look at it. It's like, yeah, sure, is your family that you have right now the dynamic what you want? Necessarily, no, but are they still around, you know, and bringing up the malicious aspect of it? Are they maliciously going out of the way to hurt you? If no, then find that healthy dose of trying to be around them, you know? And I can tell you right now, every eight months is definitely not a healthy dose because I feel a hell of a lot better, and it's like the success and love and compassion i feel is no nothing compared to the fulfillment that i get from work right and it's like that's what i mean about you can't buy this type of love and that's honestly all i wanted to say for this this episode of this podcast is just short and sweet and just be thankful for everything you know if you have any friends or family that are around you to be very thankful for them even if you guys are arguing and stuff right now right there's um there's a video i watched the other day right and it was about a guy and his dad, and they were talking about uh actually i think it was uh oh no i can't remember his name i have a picture of him in my face I have his face in my I have his face in my memory, but it was um, the guy's talking about how his him and his dad are arguing, and they haven't talked in a few days, and then uh, the guy just told him to just call him and just tell him you love him and just say you know what I know we're arguing, but just tell him you love him. And the reason why he said that is because you know we get petty, we get we hold things out of spite. You know me not going around my family and everything for like six eight months at a time. You times that by five years, I see them what maybe six eight times over five years. You put it that way, I barely know my family. And what's the point of building an empire and a legacy and feeling being fulfilled and getting married, having kids and having this, all this stuff if you can't really have people in it that really know who you are and support you, you know? And the reason I'm sharing all that is because it's just like I said, you just got to be grateful for everything that's around you. And the reason why I was saying that, see, getting off tangent a little bit, when the guy said to call him is because um, his father, when he didn't call his father when he was arguing with him, the guy that told the other guy to go to call him. And uh, since he didn't call him, he got into a car accident and he passed away. 
So the guy ended up never being able to talk to his dad, right? And they they loved each other. They had the best relationship. Everyone knew everyone in the family knew them to be loving of each other. Yet one argument and petty emotions and things, and then in a blink of an eye, things happen, right? And that's what it was a little bit of a perspective shock for me too, right? Like I'm talking all this shit about myself with my mom and my family, and I got I got a mom that's just a little little bit out the ways. And even when she was around, I used to drive past her house and never go see her. So it puts it in perspective, right? can't be arrogant in a sense if you have someone around that loves you and you're just a little bit let's say nervous or like not at your stage life to embrace it but you know like I said find out that time and I'm telling you eight months every eight months isn't good enough maybe once a month to start once every few weeks is to start but I just want to say that because I'm grateful for you guys that are listening as well right you guys take the time out of your life to support me and my 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 avenues in my life my adventures and things so I just appreciate it. What's the success if I can't have the people like you to support me and I can't support you guys back? What's the point of having all the success if you can't watch your baby nieces grow up and <laughs> learn how to fist bump you and learn your name and learn how to accept you just like you want to accept them, right? But other than that, I just want you guys all to have the blessed week. I want you guys to all know that within a blink of an eye, you guys' life can change as long as you guys put in the effort every single day. Love every single person that's around you. And from the bottom of my heart to the top, just know, if you guys want to change your life at any moment, whether it's like literally, I mean, at a drop of a dime, I always say, go check my Instagram. There's a highlight uh, reel on my Instagram stories or highlight uh, hub. And it says where it began. And I'm telling you, it all began when I just was like, I decided to walk around with side around my job and just like, I want to give myself five minutes a day. What do I need? What do I need? I did it every single day. And here I am three to five years later feel my absolute best over here reflecting on how I got to get over my emotions with my family and embracing the ones around me that love me so with that being said like I said I want you guys to have the absolute blessed motherfucking week of your guys' life I appreciate every single one of you guys and we'll see you guys in the next episode let's go who's on my side I don't know anymore cause it's more than a battle we going to war and losing again I just cannot afford I think it's my time to go even the score what you see on the surface attaching my core I'm stacking my paper by feeling for more one hell of a ride but I'm staying on board and now I'm Makes sense what the suffering was for. Cause I got on my head and I got in my bag. No time to be crying, there's money to make. I'll do what I got or whatever it takes. Cause I'm pushing myself to be one of the great. And my time is right now, I cannot wait. I'm receiving the love.